Welcome to the China Briefing. The content of the briefing includes China's 11 begins first US trip in six years. First FT, Taiwan says US assistance covers all aspects in defense against China. Tencent, Alibaba earnings hold key to $44 billion China tech run. She's trips to Iowa, tractors and Star Trek wallpaper. Asia to the moon, boosted by US soft landing hopes. China's 11 begins first US trip in six years. Bloomberg. Chinese President Xi Jinping is set to arrive in San Francisco for a meeting with US President Joe Biden. The visit is aimed at boosting confidence in China's economy, which has been slowing down in recent years. However, the visit has also sparked protests from anti-communist party demonstrators who accuse China of human rights abuses in Xinjiang, Hong Kong, and Tibet. The visit is seen as a key test for 11, as public sentiment towards the Communist Party has hardened in recent years amid criticism of Beijing's trade and human rights policies. First FT, Taiwan says US assistance covers all aspects in defense against China. Financial Times The US is covertly helping Taiwan strengthen its defenses against a potential attack from China, including through training its troops, according to Taiwan's top national security official. Wellington Ku. While Taipei has not publicly acknowledged the expansion of U.S. assistance, Ku's remarks highlight the importance of U.S. support for Taiwan, especially as the country prepares for presidential elections in January. The comments are likely to provoke Beijing as Chinese President Xi Jinping meets with U.S. President Joe Biden today. Tencent, Alibaba earnings hold key to $44 billion China tech run. Bloomberg. China's technology sector rally, which has increased aggregate market value by $44 billion, will be tested as Tencent Holdings and Alibaba report their third quarter results this week. Tencent is expected to show growth due to cost reductions and a more favorable regulatory climate. However, Alibaba will likely face a broader consumption slowdown and increased competition. She's trips to Iowa, tractors and Star Trek wallpaper. BBC Chinese President Eleven Jinping's ties to the U.S. state of Iowa were highlighted during his recent visit to the U.S. Eleven first visited Iowa in 1985 as part of an agricultural delegation, and returned in 2012 when he rode a John Deere tractor on a farm. Some of the Iowans he met on his first trip are now known as old friends, and some have been invited to a dinner with Eleven during his current visit. The president is also expected to meet with former Iowa Governor Terry Branstad, who served as U.S. Ambassador to China under Donald Trump. Asia to the moon, boosted by U.S. soft landing hopes. Reuters. Asian markets opened on Wednesday with stocks and risk assets rising after U.S. inflation data suggested there would be no more rate hikes. Tuesday saw two- and five-year bond yields fall over 20 basis points, the Nasdaq rise over 2%, the Russell 2000 index gained 5%, the dollar fall 1.5%, and the Aussie and New Zealand dollars both jumped 2%. In addition, Chinese President Xi Jinping is hoping to persuade US President Joe Biden to ease up on tariffs and export controls during their meeting at the Asia-Pacific Economic Cooperation Forum. In veiled swipe at China, Blinken tells APEC US believes in free region. Reuters U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken took a swipe at China ahead of the Asia-Pacific Economic Cooperation, APEC, forum and the upcoming summit between the U.S. and Chinese leaders. Blinken emphasized the importance of a region where economies are free to choose their own path and where goods, ideas, and people flow lawfully and freely. Chinese President Xi Jinping is expected to visit the United States for the first time since 2017 and meet with U.S. President Joe Biden at an undisclosed location in the San Francisco Bay Area. Mexico's AMLO to talk fentanyl crisis in first meeting with China's 11. Bloomberg. Mexican President Andres Manuel López Obrador, AMLO, will meet Chinese President Xi Jinping this week to discuss the fentanyl crisis affecting North America. AMLO's meeting with 11 comes as the US increases pressure on China and Mexico to tackle narco trafficking. Mexico and China have recently held talks on the topic, with Mexico looking to share intelligence about shipments of the drug across the Pacific. 
U.S. President Joe Biden and 11 are set to announce a separate agreement in San Francisco that would see Beijing crack down on the manufacture and export of fentanyl. Wednesday Briefing, Updates on Gaza's Main Hospital New York Times Al Shifa, Gaza's main hospital complex, which has been cut off from electricity for days, is in dire need of power to keep the incubators needed to keep premature babies alive functioning. The lives of around three dozen premature babies are now under threat as the incubators are without power. The baby's fragile health makes moving them difficult, complicating Israel's goal of emptying the complex of civilians before its troops try to enter. The Israeli military said late Monday that it was working to deliver mobile incubators and respirators to help evacuate the babies. The hospital director and the Gaza Health Ministry were not available for comment on Israel's offer. The hospital hosts an underground Hamas command center, according to Israeli and U.S. officials, a claim that Hamas and hospital officials reject. That's all for today's news from the Six Degrees World. Chinese President Xi Jinping has arrived in the U.S. for his first visit in six years, facing both economic challenges and protests against human rights abuses. Meanwhile, Taiwan has revealed that the U.S. is covertly helping strengthen its defenses against China which could further provoke Beijing. In the business world, Tencent and Alibaba's earnings reports will test the strength of China's tech sector rally, while Asian markets have opened positively following U.S. inflation data. And in international relations, U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken took a swipe at China's economic policies ahead of the APEC forum. Finally, Mexican President AMLO is set to meet with Xi Jinping to discuss the fentanyl crisis, and Gaza's main hospital is in urgent need of power to save the lives of premature babies. As always, there's a lot happening in our interconnected world. China's visit to the US is a significant event, with implications for both economic and political relations. The covert US support for Taiwan and the ongoing fentanyl crisis highlight the complex challenges faced by these countries. And let's not forget the importance of technology in China's economy as Tencent and Alibaba's earnings reports will provide insight into the health of the tech sector. But amidst all the serious news, we also have some lighter moments, like President Xi's ties to the US state of Iowa, where he rode a tractor on a farm. And in the world of finance, Asian markets have seen positive gains following the release of US inflation data. So, what are your thoughts on these stories? Do you have any questions or opinions to share? Let's open up the floor for discussion. Thank you for tuning in. The content above showcases the latest briefing reports and analytical synopses, thoughtfully curated by the 6DO team. These insights stem from a wide array of reputable media outlets, think tanks, government sources, and specialized experts worldwide. We encourage you to explore these sources for a comprehensive perspective. Keep in mind that while the content may not always align with the official standpoint of 6DO brief, it's not meant to be taken as absolute directives for decision-making. Comprising seasoned media professionals, learned scholars, and accomplished scientists, the 6DO team embodies a trailblazing, fully independent media entity. To customize 6DO brief to meet your professional needs, you have the option to subscribe to a diverse array of briefings on our website. 6dobrief.com. Regardless of your location, you can conveniently receive 6DO brief via email.